friends. So in our today's video, we will be using the anatomy and physiology of the body. Like, very very basic stuff that you need to understand and it's very simple. So we are really going to master the proper, the parts and the fun. Without wasting my time, let's quickly jump into that. Baby, I'm missing you. Right, so this is a foraptor, also known as a refractor. And you know that mostly foraptors are used for refraction. But the point is that it is not only used for refraction, but it is also used for other binocular vision tests as well. It can be used to check for four years, accommodative amplitude, accommodative lag or lead, and other important binocular vision tests as well. So you must be knowing that foraptors are not only used for refraction, but for other binocular vision tests as well. So now let's go to the part of the foraptor. Very well. Right. So we are seeing two knobs over there. Okay. We are seeing two knobs and look at where my hand is when I'm going to touch the knob. Now start off with the very first knob. Right. So the knob I'm holding, right? So this knob is referred to as the tilt clamp knob. As is to say the mountain adjustment knob. And it plays a major role. Okay. So this one actually um, used to tighten the foropter to stand. So this knob is used to help tighten the foropter to the stand. Now this second knob is called the rotation adjustment knob. Okay. Now look at something. I want to say the foropter. And see I've loosened it. And therefore I'm able to rotate the foropter. So that's the function of the rotation adjustment knob. Now at me too. Now look at something. You realize that on say me movie cry a movie. Yes. So that is the rotation adjustment knob. So it is it is kind of to adjust the direction of the foropter. So the rotation adjustment knob is used to adjust the direction of the foropter. Simple as that. So when I loosen it, it moves. When I tighten it, the foropter doesn't move anymore. That is the function of the rotation adjustment knob. So that is the rotation adjustment knob. Very well. Now let's go to a different parts. Now you've seen this knob that I'm holding there, right up there. That is called the leveling knob. The leveling knob, the leveling knob to level the foropter to make it straight or tilt it. Now I am tilting it by by moving it. I'm trying to tilt it, so I'm tilting the foropter. Okay, so if you can observe it closely, you realize that the foropter um just being tilted downward into a chapel from kakra. That is down to a chapel from kakra. Me inside chapel from kakra, and then me cast me the co up as well. Let's go back to level. So that is the leveling knob to make sure that the foropter is in line. Okay, to make sure the foropter is in line. So that's the function of the leveling knob. So that's the leveling knob. Now, some it is to show at the spirit level window. This is called the spirit level window. Are you okay? It whenever I try to rotate this um the leveling knob, it shows up at the spirit level window. It is say I straight to say straight to it will tell from the spirit level window. You understand so the leveling knob okay ninja is the old spirit level window because it tells so if it's aligned or not it will tell you from the spirit level window so the spirit level window is for the leveling knob now the next one is a pd knob or pd adjustment knob pd adjustment knob so you realize that whenever i have a patient's pd I need to factor it in you understand and so by doing that i will try as much as possible that i will be rotating the pd adjustment knob and the pd adjustment knob will show up the pd scale so this is the pd adjustment knob and to show up in what in the pd scale window so this is the pd scale window so whenever i uh, i have a patient's pd like 16 system um limiters whatever it is by trying to rotate the pd adjust to so here this, the level indicator is for the spirit level window okay and the pd adjustment knob is for pd score window so they are brothers siblings you understand good now i have here um my strong fear dial okay so you're seeing over there this is the strong fear dial so you see i'm rotating the strong fear dial okay so by rotating that it induces some kind of high i am uh, high sphere powers okay so that is the strong fear dial strong fear dial i also have my auxiliary lens skill okay so whatever i'm having there these things are called the auxiliary lens skill okay 
auxiliary lens here and i have my auxiliary lens knob so i am rotating the auxiliary lens knob to pick up some of the skills on the auxiliary lens skill so that's auxiliary lens knob and this is my auxiliary lens skill and this is my strong fear dial this is the strong fear dial okay so by rotating that i induce some kind of high plus spheres okay into the um, sphere uh, um, dial right so so that is that then again right so yes so let me show you so now i want to induce some kind of powers of spheres so you look at this do so the sphere dial the strong fear dial these are numbers on the very far left so you know it is 18 from 18 i bring it to 14 so that's a strong fear dial from 11 it goes to 8 okay with the same strong fear dial that i'm rotating you know this one says for the lens skills this is a strong fear dial actually and this is skills okay so the lens is very lens knob okay widow auxiliary lens knob all right now the next one is the weak sphere dial this is the weak sphere dial the weak sphere dial okay so the weak sphere dial induces some amount of small or instead of little spheres so we like that here look at something the very far left is for the strong sphere dial look at the, the weak sphere dial now it's induces a kind of small power of lenses small power of spherical out lenses so whenever i try to rotate look at point seven now 050 050 gave me 025 and from 025 it gives me zero you understand so it gives so o, 025 but for the strong sphere dial whenever we look at from six it goes to 10 11 no we here look at from 12 okay so the strong fed dial induces the spheres in higher power in high powers and the weak sphere dial induces the lenses in steps of 0 to 5 this is called sphere power skill or window sphere power skill or window nice now let's go to this part now whatever is on the left is on the right so whatever if we discover this on the left indirectly the same thing on the right you understand and this i'm holding is called the forehead rest knob forehead rest knob forehead rest knob you know this is called the rotation adjustment knob you understand that rotation adjustment knob so i, I want to rotate the foropter now this is called the forehead rest knob so, we, so this is this, the back this thing here is called the forehead rest this way i'll rest my forehead now whatever vertical distance i want to induce on a particular amount of vertical distance i am going to rotate mm, the forehead rest knob and that is going to bring the forehead rest either far back or very close to the foropter so by way of rotating the forehead rest knob you realize that the forehead rest will be going back or front you understand so it becomes back going back and forth like that so that is called the forehead rest knob right now this is called this apertures are called the foropter aperture so we have foropter aperture one foropter aperture and another foropter aperture here so they are called foropter apertures so if it's on left because it comes the left foropter aperture and here becomes the right foropter aperture just like that so these are the apertures foropter apertures right foropter aperture and left foropter aperture now this things yes i have this thing here i have these things here so this so by way of rotating i try to induce any of them into uh, in front of that picture so today uh, I, I just want to um make the whole thing um straight i don't want to rotate so i'm using the rotation adjustment knob to make sure that my foropter um uh, it's, it's, in, it's in good position to use right so that it doesn't shake now you see um now i want to rotate for by rotating this way i induce you understand right so this is how you do to um, induce any of them onto the apertures are you okay now this is called risley prism or rotary prism they are prisms so if you want to induce some kind of prisms i will induce this onto the aperture and this is called prism this is called jcc unit jackson cross cylinders unit so when i'm doing a fraction i want to use my jcc i'm good with this one this is called the jcc unit so the whole thing you're going there is called the jcc unit are you good right so by way of rotating the arm i try to um rotate that so by rotation if i want to you see whenever i want to induce some kind of um maybe uh, to do some kind of 
as a refinement or something refinement i will try and put on the gcc unit but if i want prisms i will put on the resilient prism or the rotary prism now i have this thing here yeah, i'm having two knobs very right here now look look at it very carefully the very first knob and the, and the second knob there are two knobs here the first knob and the second knob now yeah the second knob now the very first one is called the cylinder power knob cylinder power knob so whenever i try to rotate this knob i am trying to induce some kind of cylinder powers look at it so uh, using the scale over there you see that the cylinder powers um, are moving and this is called the cylinder power scale or the cylinder power window cylinder power scale so whenever i rotate the cylinder power knob the cylinder uh, cylinder power scale to i'll be seeing that kind of thing over there at the cylinder power scale or the cylinder power window this is called uh, you see so this is the cylinder power window or the cylinder power scale now the second one too is called a cylinder axis uh, knob okay so cylinder axis knob so by way of, by way of rotating mm, the cylinder axis knob cylinder axis knob so look at it i am trying to rotate the cylinder axis knob cylinder axis knob so this is so the first one is cylinder power knob and the one i'm holding currently is called a cylinder axis knob are you okay cylinder access no so that is that so always don't forget that these two knobs are very close to each other right now let's go again let's go again let's go again so yes so i am still having my cylinder axis knob isn't it my cylinder axis knob right cylinder axis knob this is a cylinder axis knob always don't forget this two, these two knobs are very close together now i think the arrow the cylinder axis indicator cylinder the arrow is a cylinder axis indicator so it indicates the particular axis that i've selected so that by rotating the cylinder axis um knob then the cylinder axis indicator to be showing on the cylinder axis scale so this is called the cylinder axis scale the numbers on the over there are called the cylinder axis Skill or the calibrations they are called the cylinder as a skill and this is called the cylinder as a reference cylinder as indicator cylinder axis skill over there cylinder as a skill over there cylinder as a skill and this is the cylinder power knob cylinder power knob cylinder power knob cylinder power knob so by rotating uh, um, uh, uh, look at the cylinder mm -hmm. the cylinder um, power skill or the cylinder power window by rotating the cylinder power knob it will be showing the cylinder power window or the cylinder power scale are you good now let's go here now i think the numbers over here these are called the cylinder axis reference scale here cylinder the the the, the, the calibrations they are called the cylinder axis reference scale okay so now let's have a recap let's have a recap of what you've learned in core recap now i have what tilt clamp knob rotation adjustment knob my leveling up my leveling up and to show at the spirit level window okay i also have my pd adjustment knob pd knob and to show in the pd skill okay right i have my uh, auxiliary lens knob my auxiliary lens knob over there my auxiliary lens knob and i have my strong sphere dial my strong sphere dial okay my strong sphere dial auxiliary lens skill auxiliary lens skill okay auxiliary lens. this is called the vergence lever so if i want to induce some kind of uh, convergence i'll just put them together and if i if, if i don't want it to divergence i put them apart these are called the vergence levers vergence levers vergence levers now i also have my forehead rest here forehead rest and i have my forehead rest knob forehead rest adjustment knob for and i have my forehead rest here to, to retain some kind of better distance that i want again so i have this with my my Weasley prism or my rotary prism and i have my jcc units water prism or risley prism okay radio and i have here my weak sphere dial my weak sphere dial so if i want to do some kind of little lens 025 small lens i would go to a big my sphere dial this is my cylinder power knob cylinder power knob my cylinder axis knob and my uh, cylinder axis indicator right so be my cylinder axis skill in the box too i'm seeing my cylinder power skill or my cylinder power window now looking at the two sides windows to this side too i'm having what my four aperture apertures 